Welcome to the life of Eating Pow, aka it's Raw Sum. You think that was a five minute yoga thing? No, it was not. Listen. Now, this is what I do every day. I wake up at 7 on, 7, 7 on like that. And then I have my coffee, and then um, rest for a while, fold up my work, and then um, shower, and I change into my active wear, and uh, rinse and a little lipstick, you know, something better. Uh, and then I will. Two two hours of workout. So if I'm tired, I'll do one hour. But uh, I'll start with one hour of uh, hit. I mean, I don't really call it hit. I call it like using your own body weight to work out, lah. You know your your lunges, your I don't know bicycle, your whatever, lah. You know. And then after that, um, I will do an hour of yoga. Um, currently, I'm trying to nail this Ashtanga sequence that I've been trying to memorize for the longest time and I cannot do it and then I was thinking okay lah this is a good time for me to do this since you got nowhere to go right uh, there's a lot of poses I cannot do lah but I'm trying and pushing myself um, this is also a very good time for me to think you know like realign yourself you know I mean before that I'm so busy I don't even have time to sit down and think right so I feel that this is think about my business and you know, realign the strategy you know uh, with this whole situation going on right after the lockdown was going to happen and everything is so uncertain what's the new normal everyone's been talking about the new normal uh, marketing tools you know um, everyone's going to be very price sensitive I don't know so yeah so so you see you do two hours of workout and then you look at the time it's really lunch time really. then half of the day is gone really. I'm like oh, it seems so easy to pass uh, then after I prepare lunch then I'll do some homework with my kids I mean my son and my daughter really uh, she's on her own because she's a monster teen then play piano and then it's very interesting right? and you think that's all she's doing of course not amongst the millions of things that this woman has to take care of. Let's check out uh, the HQ of Rossum. The famous Sungai Bulo Rossum HQ. <laughs> so this is where we prepare our food every day and we send it to our outlets. Um, since the lockdown we have closed everything here except for the kitchen and my staffs are still working uh, to support the deliveries and the outlets um, around uh, Klang Valley and KL. Only it's Rossum does it that way. Oh, well, Rossum does it very well. If you want to know how you can just order and cook your dinner with those frozen packets, DM it's Rossum. Well, thank you for building a healthier community together. And thank you for letting me feature you, my friend. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to go into the home of someone who's going through MCO, while well, this time being the Rossum babe. What does she do at night? And then at night, um, it's my time. So it's where I practice my piano at night. Um, this is the best time because my son is already asleep, so he won't disturb me. My daughter is inside her room, uh, entertaining her friends. So yeah, so I play the piano almost every night since the lockdown. Uh, never played so regularly before. Um, so, I don't play fast songs um, because already your work looks so like so crazy, right? So whenever I come back, I just like to play slow songs 
very mellow song, very therapeutic songs. <laughs> Actually, I don't play well. So then you come and ask me, hey, I want you to take some videos of you playing the piano. Okay, <laughs> I'll try. So this is how I normally post when I play piano on Instagram. So I was thinking, like, okay, I'll give you like the same feel. <laughs>